Another review this with starboard bow. Remember guys, all you need is one of these, and one of these. This is what's in the high boy, P6. Another one all the way down there too. See that baby, all the way down there. A sharp knife. V6. I'll tell you what, everything's together. You got the wheel and the handlebars, and the only thing you got to do is put the handlebars in the stem, wheel on the front, and then you're Pull done. The box, see what we got in here. That's what's in the box. Okay. The P6. Pedals. <clears throat> AC adapter, plug, wrench, 1513. The little stem that goes down through the axle of the front tire to tighten it up. And your nice, your headlight. Uses manual, some more tools, little hex tools, and then this is a cover for the front bolt. I'm pretty sure we'll go over all that, but uh, that's what's in the uh, box. Pulling all these things out. You just need to take out three of these uh, hex screws. Leave that dangling there so you don't lose that piece, and then we just get this stuff off and pull that pad out there, and let's uh, throw this on there. What do is loosen up uh, these hexes right here. Stem comes facing the tire. Move the stem arrow. You'll see it in the instructions, but go to the front like this, and you put the handlebars on the stem there. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. You're gonna see a little target right there. You wanna make sure uh, all those lines are lined up before you tighten this thing down. Tighten down this right here. Make sure that's nice and tight. Oh yeah, nice and tight. Two hex screws right here. Right, you got one there. And one, there. four right here. One, two, three, four. Handlebars on. So basically, just putting handlebars on. I just put the bike on its seat and handlebars. Make sure you put something underneath the handlebars to uh, make it easy for you, so that you can put the butt to the front tire on. This thing comes off like that. Make sure that pad's on. A little tight. Make sure that you get it in between those pads right there. Let's put it on. Make sure that's in there. There. Hold there. Make sure when you get the skewer, on. you take off the, you have the spring over here and the skewer, you put it on the right side of the bike, not the left side, the right you side. Kind of force it in a little bit, kind of go it back and forth, but right side, that screw coming out right there, right here, see I got the spring on there, so I got the spring in there, I got this nut, which you paint it came with the uh, package, it was in the box there. Put it like this, fold down the other side with your hand while you tighten this one. Okay, so I got that in there, right, nice and tight. Okay, while you're holding down the other edge here, righty tighty, go like this. This will tighten up this, this edge here. In, nice and tight, 
It's just like the ones that they use to tighten the seat down. Everybody's used to that post. That's guru lock. And then this edge here. Then what you do is you spin the wheel. When you spin the wheel, you're gonna hear a little bit of roughness, but it's it's fine. See how the wheel keeps spinning? That's what you want, because that means that the disc brake pads are not holding up the wheel. The wheel. Look how long that's gonna keep spinning. Let's put on the foot pedals. Wrench just for the pedals. Left. Thanks for all your help, Santiago, by the way. I appreciate it. Help me with this bike. And the bike, and the garbage, and my helper. Let's clean this stuff up. Good job, Santiago. Way to go cleaning that up. Let's put the headlight on. We got the wrench that came with it, and the large hex screw. Hex. go. Just snap that open. Just make sure. Uh, make sure that's tight. They always come with two sets of keys, guys. Yeah. One thing I really like about this is you guys got to, this is cool. Put the key in, snap it open, pull this battery out. One hand, guys. One hand. How easy. Take, I don't, take it right inside the motorhome. I don't have to worry about bringing the bike in. Charge this thing up. Yeah, put this right there. Snap that baby in there. All right, guys, you got the high boy P6. It's a little windy here today, guys. I'm down by the beach. I just want to go over some of the uh, specifications of this high boy e bike with the package itself. It's 59 by 11 by 32. I mean about 82 pounds with the package. The e-bike weight is 65 pounds. Throttle 21 miles per hour by the throttle, up to 31 miles per hour by the pedal. So if you're over 265 pounds, I'm not sure about this bike, but you know, you never know. Pedal assist riding distance. That means if you're in pedal assist one, two, three, and you're you're actually pedaling with this thing, you're getting about 49 uh, miles. Now, if you're pure electric and you're pulling down on the old uh, throttle there, then you're talking about uh, probably around 24 miles, 25 mile distance. I'm telling you what, these are some big old tires. I took it on the sand already, and this thing moves really good up on there. It's a pneumatic tire, it's 26 inches. You got the disc brakes there. Samuno, it's a Samuno Altis. Nine speed. That's the first nine speed that I've ever done. Uh, the charger is a AC 100-240 volt. Output volume is DC 54.6 volts. The frame material is aluminum alloy, guys. The power. The display here. You got the horn. Nice little horn. You got a light. You just press it. Turn it off. You got your pedal assist. You press... Your pedal assist, you got one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Minus plus, real simple. Then you got the power button, hold it in, turns it off, hold it in, turns it on. And then there's your meter, you got one, two, three. It's not charged very well, it's only charged halfway. And then you got your Shimudo uh, nine speed, six, seven, Three, two, one, all the way down. And then you just go one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got a little pedal paddle back here. Why don't we keep it in nine? This way when you're in pedal assist one or two, you're going wrong, you're getting some exercise, you know what I mean? So let's start off in one right now. Okay, first of all, comfort. It's really nice comfort. I got the seat all the way down. Pedals aren't not, the pedals aren't like right underneath you. They're a little bit out normal. Uh, normally they're pretty much underneath you so that the rides are not that comfortable, but this is good This I like the handle. I had moved the handlebars. You can adjust the handlebars with this You can go down and up. You can move these things all around so 
We've got a nice, nice grip here. So uh, let's uh, take this for a ride. You can adjust the shocks right here at your little red button here. Higher, lower, high, lower, higher. I can probably go fast if I pedal faster. A good exercise too. Number two is a good ride for exercise. Hopefully it's not too loud. I like the handling of this bike. Everything is like really cool. I mean, the, the handlebars are not that low. And I like because when I'm pedaling it, and I'm in two, it doesn't just pop forward. It kind of lets you catch up to the speed that you're pedaling, like a normal bike speed on that thing. I'm in number two. And I'm getting about 16. 16 uh, miles an hour. This bike's a nice bike, man. Holy smokes. This, I'm very impressed, high boy. I was impressed with your scooter, but your bike's even more impressive. Yeah, I like the way this thing takes off. It doesn't jump. It lets you catch up, you know? I'm in number two right now. I'm gonna put it up to number five, and hopefully you can hear me. Four, five. I'm on five. Let's see what happens. And I'm pedaling. Yeah, I could see this thing getting up to 30 maybe with some big legs. But I, the only thing I got you is at 26. Let's see what the throttle, just the throttle. Just using the throttle, it's kind of downhill. Doing about 24 miles an hour. Twenty-five. Twenty-five point five. Yeah, gets around twenty-five while doing the throttle. Handle these bumps really good, guys. I mean, it's good. It's it's, it's really good off-roading. I'm very impressed with the, the way it handles. Try not to get a flat, but uh, it moves really good off-road. Boy, very impressed. Just trying not to kill myself, but regular dirt. Now I got gravel. I'm trying to go slow so I don't kill myself, but moving along pretty good. Gravel, wow. Hey, boy, I'm telling you. you have fun with these tires. Hi boy, V6, e-bike. What I like, what I don't like. I hate people that do that. You know what, I like it. Hi boy sent it to me. They know I do an honest customer review, whether I like it or I don't like it. It's really, it's important, but what I'm, when you say you don't like something, you gotta look about what things cost. For the amount, I think it's going around $1,100 online right now. Check the info in the description of the video. This thing moves. Not only that, what I love is when I'm not the power's off, I can actually ride this bike. I mean, it's exercise, but I can actually ride this thing. Not only that, I never come up above two. One, two, that's all you need. You cruise right along on this thing. Very comfortable ride. Now the seat, you can probably put a new seat in there, especially if you got a big fat butt like me. You want something comfortable, that's what I do. I switch the seat. But other than that, the High Boy P6, you've got to get there. All right, starboard bow, there you go, guys. So guys, do me a favor, check out the information in the description of this video. Thank you, Hi Boy, for sending me this e-bike for reviewing. I appreciate it, 
and I hope to do more for the viewers of my channel here and hopefully you guys are interested in something like this if not that's fine I do the reviews product reviews for you guys to see what's good for you guys and what's not good for you guys this is a good off-road bike not a great off-road bike but a good off-road bike it's for the price that you're paying for this you got it guys this is it the high boy p6 thanks for watching